Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald here and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to explain to you why Batman the Drowned is the strongest character in the game for the free to play side of things at the very least. And this is not my opinion, this is a fact. And to prove that fact I'm not going to show you a maxed out Batman the Drowned with full gear set or something like that. I'm going to show you my shitty ass Batman the Drowned on the main account at 4 stars and 2 artifacts and I'm going to show you then my 3 star battle on the drone on the secondary account with 1 gear and far lower level artifacts and by the way for the fights that you're going to see we are, we are going to use only free to get artifacts being dark mill cards on her and uh, the god killer on the other characters to get passive stats because those gameplays that you're gonna see were done in um, uh, the last contract soul rates and the star rating matters a lot you're gonna get so much more out of her because she's got basically double scaling with the star rating because you're going to get more damage from the infection and you're going to get more damage from the um, a hazard because this is the thing that deals damage so the higher star rating the amazingly higher values you're going to get out of her and as far as her gears go and her talents I could have squeezed in a little bit more here but what I tried to do with her gears and talents was to get max crit chance and max crit damage you can fine tune this build you can add a little bit of defense you can add a little bit more attack uh, you, you can do whatever you want but you only need those two stats for the most part this is the priority to get max crit chance and max crit damage because the hazard that you're going to inflict is going to be able to do crit damage and yeah we're gonna have um, on this account at the very least equipped uh, the level 6 dark mall cards and uh, we're gonna have a level 6 gut killer and level 10 gut killer i know even though they are free they're quite high level for most people but i'm going to show you the secondary account afterwards where all we have is a level um, uh, four Dark Mal cards and uh, a level and two level four God Killers, I think, for the passive stats. But yeah, let's get into the gameplay for the first account. Okay, so first fight against Boss Scarecrow. Yet again, the artifacts equipped are going to be level 10 God Killer on Batman Laps, level uh, six Dark Mal cards on her, and level. Uh, I think the level the God Killer on uh, John Sir Grenander was at that point level five, and we have a three star Batman Laps and a seven star John Sir Green Lantern. John Sir Green Lantern will be at peak performance for this team from five stars because his passive increases the hazard dot damage, and Batman Laps is gonna be here for convenience purposes. You're going to get to. Uh, Crisis energy max far faster with him, but in terms of damage, he doesn't really add anything. And this is the first time I'm using this thing, so this was kind of uh, a fight to test things out and see how much damage I can do because there's not enough health for this to th for this team to reach max potential. You also want to use super move. The star rating will also increase the level of the super move. I forgot about that, and that will give all the dark metal teammates, including herself, a damage boost. So she's basically got triple scaling with the star rating. So I just can't stress enough how so much better and so much out of proportion this can get. And to be fair, we're not even getting her too much resources. She's got free to play artifacts, she's got uh, Ben Flaps and Jonster Green Lantern. And yet again, Ben Flaps is not really a must. You're gonna have a harder time getting to the Crisis Energy, but you're gonna be fine for the most part. Don't love stealing some percentage health damage in there. He's dealing decent values for himself, though not anything amazing. Super move back in underwater, and uh, it's gonna be 13 mil damage per second, guys. 13 mil damage per second. And people are able to get so much more insane values out of this character at higher star rating, because I said it matters a lot, and maybe with all the gears. But all we got here is two gears. And uh, she's gonna be able to build some Christ energy herself, though Battle Flaps is gonna be much faster at building that, so that's something to keep in mind. Though you can definitely use her without Battle Flaps. You have to be very careful depending on how many gears you have, because she'll have to do the dirty work herself, and in that case, she'll need to not die. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for my boy... Uh... Uh, Scarecrow and she got killed before finishing the fight, but it's okay. So here we did not have the room to show how much damage we can deal with this one, but it's okay, we're gonna fight a full health fight. And in this one we're even gonna be at a class disadvantage, because this man is gonna be um, uh, a, a tech character, so that's gonna hurt us a bit, though not too much. Film flaps in there. Really missing the sort of salvation on him to generate power faster, but yeah, it's fine. Just get those passive stats in there. We maxed out the infection stacks. Those stack up pretty quickly, actually. Special two in there. Now we start doing the combo. Combo and chopped again. 
Uh, there's another thing, you can make it work though more on that one we get to secondary count, but if you're gonna make her work with one gear, you can do that by only adding crit damage and relying on the Dark Metal cards area uh to get those crits but in that case the gameplay will differ in the sense that she needs to be tagged in to get those crits on the uh, hazard by sitting on the dark metal cards area but here she doesn't even need to get tagged in in theory she can just chill outside of the bell as long as we don't uh, allow the uh, infections to expire because we need to stack them up from zero if we do so there we go uh the uh, hazard is back in there I'm being a little bit unoptimal here because I should have tagged in Ben who laughs here. I need to do her super move as well, could have done that a little bit faster, so this is definitely room for improvement regarding this fight. Super move done, that's a 5.3 uh, mil damage, and that's a decent amount of damage. Ben who laughs got hit there, but he's gonna be fine. Batman in there again. And uh, this uh, is going to complement very well 3-star Batman Flaps because uh, a higher star rating Batman Flaps can actually get all the way to uh, maximum crisis energy with a comboed up third special, but mine cannot do that. So we build a little bit of the crisis energy necessary and then we tag him in for a special and that's going to be it for the uh, transformation. And the thing that I like about this, because a lot of teams are going to take a lot of time to get set up. They're gonna deal tons of damage, but they're gonna, going to take a lot of time to get to that point where they deal that tons of damage. With this team, it's just instant. As soon as you enter the fight, almost, you get the potential to deal this damage. This is why this fight seems so long, because when I got to, like, one minute, I was like, oh, we still have one minute, but we've been doing damage for two minutes. What is this? I'm not used to this type of damage from the start of the fights. There we go, yet again, maximum crisis energy, healing some damage. And yeah, 12 mil per second is definitely not too bad of a value, considering that she's only 4 stars. And yeah, that's as far as it can go on my main account, which, look, is not too bad, considering that we're not giving her any pay to win artifact or anything too hard to get. Though Penal Collapse is something that might be hard to get for you, but on the secondary account is fine, we don't have it, and we're gonna get into that in a second. But yeah, maybe with perfect gameplay we could have gotten 2 billion damage, maybe not, but it's, it's close enough. It's close enough to billion damage, might even put that in the title and the thumbnail. Look, it sounds better, okay? It sounds better I, I like that. Cut, cut, cut me some slack. Let's pretend that was 2 billion. Okay, so this is the secondary account battle on the drowns, so she's only 3 stars, so even worse than the main account, and she's only got 1 year. Now, as far as her build goes, she's got a lot of crit damage, almost maxed out, but close to no crit chance. So the gameplay is gonna switch around a bit, because in order for her to get the guaranteed crits from the Dark Mill cards on the area hazard that she's gonna inflict on the map, she actually needs to be tagged in and on the Dark Mill cards area. So we'll need to have her tagged in, and you'll see that when she tags out, we're just not gonna crit on that. Uh, but yeah, the artifacts that I'm gonna use for this are gonna be far more tame than on the main account, though the same ones. Dark Melkar's at level 4, level 4 got killer, and level 4 got killer. And no battle laughs, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so on the secondary account, and you might be like, oh, Sigma, what is this? I thought we were gonna get an unaltered experience here. We're using Zetana with her, we're buffing her with Zetana. Are we gonna have a fight without Zetana? Yes, we're gonna have a fight with Raven afterwards. But look, hear me out, and this one, Raven will buff her up a lot. But Zetana barely did anything. I don't know what's up with Zetana since the newest update, but her power steal chance is absolute garbage. Like, here we got lucky at first, but at some point you're gonna plateau and just not power steal anymore she just refuses to do so and that three stars i think it's a 75 percent chance to power steal but it doesn't feel like that wait wait did it actually work properly in this one okay i, I think now now it's the the no no power drainage point we are at 180 percent three specials in a row well okay so we didn't power uh, power steal for three specials in a row and we did one we lost a lot of time already again no power steal I think the split was like 60% power steal rate so far, or something like that. No power steal. No power steal. 
What is this? How is this a 75% chance to power stun? I swear, before the update, because this is after the update, she was doing so much better power stealing. Finally, another one. And another one. And this was lucky. Like, previously, I would get that done at, like... 2 minutes and 10 seconds left, but yeah, this took a long ass time, and I honestly don't even feel like it added too much to the fight, or too much damage. Uh, okay, okay, those values might not seem great, but hang on, hang on a bit, hang on a bit, chill. I need to chill a bit, because we, we're not critting right now, those are non-crit values. And that's not bad values from a character that's uh, 3 stars and 1 gear, but yeah, there we go, 8.1 mil damage! 8.1 mil damage from a 3 star 1 gear character with bare minimum artifact bonuses, and look, Zatanna might have added a bit. Zatanna did most likely add a bit of damage here, but my point still stands, this is a character that can get insane damage values for you. Okay, we're again not critting, that's not good. And she needs to be in the fight and sitting on that Dark Milk R0. See, right, right now we're dealing 8 mil, back to 2 mil, because we're no longer in that. 8 mil again, back to 1 mil. But this is a problem that you'll only have if you have only one gear on her. Which I can't imagine there's too many people, because it's quite hard to get that unlucky in one week of challenge, only drop one gear! How is that possible? But yeah, that's about it for this fight, like, she, she kind of died. I was doing this more for testing purposes, rather than straight up dealing as much damage as I can, but she did well. She, she did very well, considering how little resources have went into that character. But now we can take her even a bit further, we're gonna give her Raven and see how that goes. Also keep in mind, this is the first time I'm playing those teams, so it's not gonna be peak performance gameplay with them. Most likely I could fine-tune that a bit. And also Harley is gonna be a bit annoying, because she's not so straightforward to combo and chop, then we're gonna mess up a bit. Yeah, Raven in there, special one. Stack up that darkness. Also, Raven just has no gears, though I don't think that's very important here. I just, I just thought it was worth mentioning. And I mess up the combo interruption here, my bad, my bad. Still haven't gotten used to her basic attack hits, See, they feel so lame after the new update, but... Yet again, let's stop complaining back to the fights, battle the drown back in here. And as I said, it's a little bit of problem with Christ's energy generation, she's not too slow about it, but... Uh, Batman Laughs is just so much better at generating Christ's energy for her, or for himself as well at that. Okay, we're seeing 7 mil values, we haven't yet used super move with her. I don't want to use super move yet because that will reset me to the middle of the field, so I want to kind of match her own super move. And she's hitting me with the side down, but it's okay, we can re-engage after that super move in there. And just your grenade to tank that. There we go. Raven needs to not let that Dark Nix expire, thank you very much. That on the drown in there again. Two hits and log and that was not my fault when she backed off into a jump attack that's that's called bullshit that's not called my fault and we're struggling so much to push her back to the corner here raven reset in darkness barely this is why in a lot of fights i simply don't do super move myself if i know that the enemy has already done his super move because you see how much of a struggle it is to get her then back in the corner and there we go 10 mil damage per second 10 mil damage per second, done by a 3-star character with one gear. And overall, this is not gonna be a lot of damage in this fight, but this could have gone so much better and would, could have been done against such a better opponent. But yeah, she's most likely the best character for the uh, free-to-play side of things. I mean, look, at no gears, no, at no nothing, if you just have that character that you wanna use with no gears and nothing, Kimflan, Sakuman and Deathstroke are gonna do better for you. But if you can afford to add the John Stewart Green Lantern in the mix, a few gear pieces maybe, and Dark Melkart's artifact that you're gonna get for free from this story that's currently up at the time of recording this video, I think this is the best character in the game for the free-to-play side of things, and not even at max potential, she doesn't need to be max potential. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, like if you liked it, disliked it, disliked it, and yet again, if you wanna build her, you need two things. Great chance, great damage, and put some attack in there if you want to, though you'll get most of it from the artifacts anyway, so it doesn't matter. Put cr max out crit chance, max out crit damage, even overlap with the crit damage, so it maxes out at 500% with lower level Dark Metal cards, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, like the video, subscribe, goodbye.
This is the future.